A 26-year-old HIV positive is brought into the ER after she is found lying unresponsive in the street. She has no recollection of what had occurred. She reports sensing a smell like burning hair and then blacking out. Medical history reveals she has had a fever and a headache for the past week. An MRI of the brain shows multiple ring-enhancing lesions. What is the most likely cause? The correct answer is E, toxoplasma bondi. This patient likely suffered a seizure due to an infection of toxoplasma. The ring-enhancing necrotic lesions in the brain are highly characteristic of toxoplasmosis. HIV-infected and other immunocompromised patients are vulnerable to brain infections by toxoplasma, spread by cysts in meat or cat feces. The other microorganisms listed are also opportunistic infections that affect HIV patients, but they do not cause ring-enhancing brain lesions. A non-infectious cause of ring-enhancing brain lesions in AIDS patients is B-cell lymphoma of the brain. Chronic cocaine consumption diminishes one's reward pathway. Repeated use becomes necessary to maintain reward, thus leading to addiction. Cocaine increases synaptic concentrations of which of the following neurotransmitters? You can pause the video if you like and answer the question. The correct answer is C, norepinephrine and dopamine. Cocaine binds to the monoamine uptake transporter and blocks reuptake at the synaptic cleft of monoamine's dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin. The higher concentration of dopamine specifically results in downregulation of dopaminergic receptors at the postsynaptic membrane. The decreased dopaminergic signaling during normal physiological conditions is what leads to diminished reward and addiction. 